It's Friday, everybody. Friday. No? Okay. No. Oh, I'm getting the no signal from I can already hear it from you. All right, so it's Friday, and we are at, looking at a three-day weekend. For those of you who don't know, Monday is a holiday called President's Day. It used to be Lincoln's birthday and then Washington's birthday used to be. They combine them, and they combine them all the President's Day, and that's kind of how we got up to Monday. February, it's the official holiday in February. I'm not certain sure there's one in March, uh, and there's like Easter in April, but I think you don't have mail service, and then uh, May is Memorial Day, so there's usually one about every month. Um, sometimes there's two. Uh, so that's why we're not going to school on Monday. So we will run a win all next week. And seventh grade, I want to make sure you guys know your candy awards are due by the end of the day, so I can print off for uh, certificates sixth graders you should look in your canvas inbox you have uh, you can nominate people all the way up till tuesday evening uh for your candy awards and so uh let's get to announcements all right today is friday february the 17th 2023 these are your morning announcements westlake middle school is an avid school wide side of distinction mission of westlake middle school is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and grow. Let's get wildcat ready, everyone. Our lanyards and IDs are around our necks. Binders and agenda books are with us. Backpacks, fanny packs, and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers, and blankets stay at home. All right, let's take a look at today's schedule. We have advisory period four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we also then have another advisory at the end of the day. All right, let's clean up West Lane, language and messes. Eighth graders, do not go down and use a seventh grade bathroom during the day. No, that's not, nope, 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 nope. And not during passing periods. That is for seventh graders. They have, for the most part, kept their restroom somewhat reasonable. The eighth grade restroom will, will, will open back up on Tuesday. And then my hope is that you guys can do a little bit of policing yourself of each other. Let them know, don't mess up our bathroom, period. All right, don't forget on time every time. That is Wildcat time. Cutting down on some tardies. I like seeing that. Let's keep, let's get the class on time, everybody. All right, we are one week away from our Fire and Ice Winter Dance, sponsored by Icy Hop. The cost is $5. It is Friday, February the 24th, 6 to 8 p.m. I'm just kidding, though, about the Icy Hot. I don't need to get sued by them, like uh, some of you were worried about two years ago, getting sued by Lunchables. Don't need that on my head anymore. Uh, your dress seam is anything red, blue, white, or bling. You can dress to impress, or you can just wear something you wore to school. You have to be school appropriate. Don't tell your parents again, we need a new dress for the dance because that's not true, all right? Or a new suit or a new outfit or new shoes. Pizza and concessions will be for sale. Can't wait. Ask someone to dance today. Yearbook time, you've got a uh, yearbooks are on sale all the way till February 28th. They cost us $30. Don't forget, if you, you haven't signed up for the softball clinic this weekend, you can sign up for the softball clinic on next weekend uh, for the, by the 23rd. So make sure you're signing up for that. And if you are going this weekend, good luck, Wildcat softball players. If you're interested in auditioning for a North Central Choir, auditions are after school on Tuesday, February 28th. After school, we'll see Mr. A if you are interested. Also, this is only for eighth graders, so you should know that. All right, Black History Month, celebrating Black excellence, past, present, and future. We're going to talk today, this is for Mr. Garrett's social justice class. George Washington Carver, all right? George Washington Carver uh, was born in Bedford, Canada, but then he came down to, really settled in Georgia. In, 19, in 1884, he, of Canada, he patented the peanut paste, which finished product from mulling roasted peanuts between two heated surfaces. Guess what that became? Uh, that was, uh, then also, uh, he then created Kellogg cereal patented process for creating peanut butter from raw peanuts. So if it weren't for George Washington Carver and Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, we would not have what we now know as peanut butter. 
So George Washington Carver, but he George Washington Carver did more than just peanut butter. He did a lot of of activity with the peanut plant and creating a better peanut and creating um, you know kind of like some genetics through that crossbreeding things like that. So he's huge in in the food, and I know a lot of you can eat like peanut butter and like peanut products. But, uh, so George Washington Carver was the gentleman who helped out creating that. So we owe a big debt of gratitude towards him for those of us who like peanut butter. All right, now, like I said, six and seventh grade candy awards in your canvas inbox from Mr. Pitcock. What it is, you drop down, so there's two questions essentially. You go in and you drop down what candy award are you nominating someone for, and then you're going to put the name of that person. For the most part, most of us have been knowing this last names of people, so it's been pretty easy. If you don't, if you can at least tell me their advisory or their English class or something, I could probably look them up uh, for you on that. So, sixth graders, you started the day and we'll go through Tuesday. Seventh graders, you need to be in by the end of the day uh, today for me to make the certificates. All right, we'll have one award per candy. Um, so, that's how we'll do that. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetoria. I'm off the bus to get breakfast. All cell phones are in your locker between 915 and 415. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And don't forget our motto, every wildcat, every day gets better. I hope you get better on this Friday, and I hope you have a great Friday. Thank you.